Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics and welcome to Tuesday's Tank. Today we're going to be going over one of my 40 breeders. Um, don't mind my aquaponics on the top. There's some house plants and pothos and spout lily and vinca vine. I have a couple of different plants that I like to grow. I like to um, use as many roots as possible. Let's see if I can get rid of this glare. So this is one of my 40 breeders. It's all, I got a sponge filter back here. And I have a hang on the back little guy for like a, I think it's like rated for a 30 gallon. And I have my aquaponics. So I attempted to try a natural aqu aquascape. I have some driftwood. Some of the plants that I have in here are dwarf sage, sword plants, crypts. So whenever I had baby tears, they all died. I have a jade plant. I fell for it. It's still growing though, but I have it inside a tank. I'd gotten those little tiny, I don't know what they call waterfall tanks. They're good for nothing to me, but I like them in there. It, it stops the flow. And I'm able to put some stuff on the other side of there that, that doesn't get bothered with the flow. This is this shows. This, yeah, this is my 40 breeder. I've got sword tails. Love them. Platties. I wanted to breed some of these sword tails. But with the angels in there, I'll never have any babies. I mean, I got regular guppies in here too. So they're used to eating fry. That's just not what I want to do this time. So, or I could move them over since I have some empty tank. <laughs> I will have some empty tanks with summer tubbing. Right now I have this empty 40 breeder over here. It's down there. Um, it's for goldfish. And my koi were in there all last year. They were just babies. And if I get another baby, I would quarantine them in here first. So I didn't really want to use that one. This 40 breeder has baby Oscars. Two baby Oscars and my Jack Daniels. <laughs> my Jack Daniels. Woo! My Jack Dempsey. And some more aquaponics. This is from inside the goldfish tank. We're right above it. Oh, I like it. So I've tried a couple different mats, like baby tear mat, Java Java fern. No, it wasn't a Java fern. Uh, Monte Carlo. I don't know if it's just that my lighting is not close enough to the tank or it's not strong enough. But I'm just going to stick with the dwarf sag because I, I really like it. And I got some Anubis. I, I missed that before. Get some Anubis. What else? Hi. I don't know. These uh, angels are very personal, so I don't know if I want to take them back or not. I have to make some decisions. They just can't stay in this tank because I want to breed these guys. I got the chili res boars and the cherry barbs. Those are the cherry barbs. Where's the cherry res boars? They're back there. And then of course I got some guppies. They keep breeding. They keep these angels happy. <laughs> Aww. Um, I don't, if you guys see one that I'm missing, leave it in the comments below because I'm looking I don't see them. I'm going to try from on top of the tank now. See how that looks. Oh, i got to try to turn this light off. Oh, how cool. So this is the Oscar tank. And this is the red-tailed, the, the sword tail tank. So I really like the height of it. So even though this tank is probably the perfect height, it's like... Uh, shoulder height, a little lower than shoulder height here. This one is waist high. I don't have to crouch too much to get to it. I can do all the maintenance I need to do. Plus, it's got a very unique view I don't get to see in some of my higher tanks from the top. 
part of the glare. That's how I look at it. But I, I made this one in hopes that I was gonna put a shelf up here for my aquaponics, but I wasn't trusting how sturdy the shelf was. So, but I still like that height of the tank. Um, and thanks guys for coming around on my journey as I uh, delve into this fish hobby. Fish fam, you guys know that you are awesome and I get so much encouragement from you. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you're interested in seeing when I get my next video out. So thanks for checking out my Tuesday's tanks with me. This is my 40 breeder. I call it my orange tank. I know it's pretty silly, but I like all the fish in here. I like the colors, the orange pops and the cherry barbs and the chili rasboras. They really pop against the greenery. So this is like one of my favorite 40 breeders. See you next time.